know, another way your water pump goes bad is the bearing. The bearing inside will make noise. I don't know if you can hear that. It's making all types of noise. All right, y'all. I just got back from the market. That's right. The grocery store. Got some coolant. I got the water pump. Got some extra shit too. Y'all gotta see that. But guess what? The Buick needs a water pump. Let me get a light real quick. I already took the pump out, as y'all can see. I ain't really want to record it, but. As y'all can see, that's the water pump. Last time I did a water pump on this, uh, I think it was back in 2008. So it's been like 16 years or some shit. I don't know, do the math. But y'all can see this is my LS. Hold on. Yeah, it's my LS. My baby, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm going to throw this thing in there real quick. Um, I'll, let, I'll let y'all see the final product. But, you know, wear and tear is something that you got to expect when you drive your car every day. Going wherever you got to go. You know, you got to take care of your car. Your car take care of you. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So, this is one of the things I got to do. So, I got to change this water pump. So I could keep driving, but that's part of the game. You know what I mean? You want to drive, you gotta you gotta take care of your baby. So, and I got like nine babies, so <laughs> I got a lot of cars. So I gotta keep my maintenance up. Um, so I'll let y'all sh I'll show y'all when I'm done. Um, and yeah, while I'm at it, uh, y'all do a water pump in this dome. Y'all do gotta take this power steering pump out the way down there slide it out the way because you got to get a bolt on this uh water pump out and the water pump is in the way i mean a pump i mean one of these bolts the pump is in the way so it's pretty easy though y'all get that drawn out but i'm gonna show y'all uh i'm gonna come back and show y'all when i'm done i'll be back in a minute all right y'all let me show y'all real quick um we are doing these water pumps. Uh, hold on, let me get some good light in this jar real quick. Can y'all see that? Shit, hold on. Anyway, um, with the surface that your water pump is going to mate on, you want to make sure you clean that real, real good. Let me see if I can try down there. Can y'all see it? You gotta clean this maintenance real good. Get all that gasket off. Now, it only took me maybe, I don't know, less than 30 minutes to get all this apart. But it took me more than 45 minutes to an hour to clean up this surface to make sure it's clean. And uh, didn't have nothing left over on it because it won't show up right if you got anything on that surface. So now, this is the old one that came off and as you can see this is the gasket here see how it is see it's all brittle see all this is also stuck on that side of the this is the new gasket right here so you see all this on here all that's all this was stuck on the other side of this water pump so you gotta get all that off um so while we at it one way a couple ways you can tell your water pump is bad is I get you in a light here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's a hole right there, right with my finger. Right there's a hole right there. So what that does is, when your water pump fails eternally, it'll leak from that little tiny hole. They call it a weep hole, just to let you know that hey, your water pump is bad. Um, you know, another way your water pump goes bad is the bearing. 
the bearing inside will make noise. I don't know if you can hear that. It's making all types of noise. And if you listen to the new one, you can't hear it. You can't hear it the same way you hear this one. So, uh, so yeah, that's one way your water pump will go bad. Uh, another way it could go bad is sometimes these fins can even break off or, sh you know, shave down, you know, much lower than they supposed to be. So, uh, you got to watch out for that too. Obviously, you won't know that unless you take the water pump off physically. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Another thing real quick. Is when y'all putting uh, putting these bolts back in. Uh, some of these bolts go right into your uh, your water jacket. It goes right into the coolant. So you might want to put a little bit of Permatex uh, thread uh, sealant on the bolt so it won't leak past the bolts. So what you do is you take a bolt like this. You want to clean it off first, like this. If you got one of these, uh, it's a bench grinder. If you got one of these, um, you could take this and, and clean it up with the wire brush. Uh, get it nice and clean. Um, if you don't have one of these, you could just use like a regular wire brush. Uh, if you don't have a wire brush, you can find something to clean it off with. And I think I got some uh, some cleaner over here. Yeah. I got some uh, thread sitting right here. You want to use that on your bolts. Put a little bit around the threads. And then I'm going to need a little bit of this. Just a little bit of gasket maker. Just a little bit just to keep the gasket sticking on the water pump when you're going to put it back on. All right. So that's what you want to do with, uh, with these bolts before you stick them back in there um yeah so i'm gonna finish uh putting this water pump on um it's real easy y'all uh and um real quick the way i knew that my water pump was going was um actually this is the second time my water pump went since i had this car and the the, the baron just went bad like you could just hear the baron just making this loud noise um and i think this one was actually leaking too like the, the weep pole but i've never lost coolant like my coolant never went down just weird the you know, weep pole right there so it was definitely leaking um definitely leaking there so um if you're not sure if your water pump is making noise uh you just take the butt off Take, take your serpentine belt off, then spin all the pulleys, and then um, if it's your water pump, you're here making that noise. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back real quick. And you see, you got all your bolts. I'm gonna put the uh, gasket on there. Put Get all my bolts. Put it back on real quick. Throw the coolant in there. Yeah, make sure y'all got y'all coolant. All right, I got the Preston GM. I usually use Amzo shit, but I ain't got the time to wait right now. So we're gonna use that today. Um, yeah. So let me get this back in here real quick, and I'll show y'all that y'all here start up and shit when I'm done. All right.
right, y'all. So y'all gonna take your little, uh, your RTV right here. A little, a little bit of gasket maker, all right? I'm using black uh, gasket maker, all right? So you're just gonna smear just a little bit around your water pump, just a little bit. And then we're gonna put your gasket on just like that. Keep, like line it up a little bit. I'm using one hand, so bear with me. One hand, all right? Uh, sometimes I like to uh, put my bolts inside of there, let them sit in there. That'll help it line up and put everything in place. I think that's the wrong hole for that. I don't think those are the... Yeah, so y'all can put a couple bolts in here to hold the gasket down. Let it sit there for a few minutes just so it can get a little tacky. Um, I hate working with one hand, but um, <laughs> but you guys see what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, put the gasket on there, let it sit on there for a couple seconds, you know, before you go to try to put it on, because sometimes these gaskets can fall off while you're trying to put it on, so. I'm trying to get this thing on here before it dry, you know. All right, so, yeah, while you guys wasn't watching, um, you know, you've been watching, but I stopped. But, yeah, I took my bolts, took it over there. Yeah, you guys seen that part. That's right. All right, so next part. <laughs> so, we're going to let this sit a little bit, get a little tacky, all right, and, um, we're gonna throw that bad boy on there. Gonna get it all sealed up, tight it, tighten up. You know what I mean? We're gonna get everything put back together. And um, I know I told y'all I was I wasn't gonna show y'all this part. You know, show me putting this water pump in, but it uh it happened anyway, right? Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this joint on. Then I'm gonna give you a little start up and let y'all check it out. I'll be back. All right, so I'm going to close out this water pump job on this Buick at last 2001. All right, as y'all can see, as y'all probably can't see, uh, the water pump is in. All right, and it's all the way down and it's buried. So I didn't put the belt back on, put everything back in place. I got my coolant filled up. Everything is cool. I wanted to point out something real quick, though. I, I didn't point out earlier uh this is the old water pump so when y'all putting it on you got little end ending uh little uh dial pins in here i think it's i think there's a dial pin here and it's a dial pin here so when you put the water pump on it can only go on one way so you really can't mess up all right so don't get scared or whatever if you're trying to put this pump on line it up with the pump I mean, with the dial pins right here, right there, and then you know, put the rest of your bolts in that you want to be in there. And like I said earlier, use a little bit of gasket on here just to keep your new gasket on. That's it. Don't put nothing, no, no make, no uh, gasket maker on a engine side, because you don't want to get that shit all on your engine. You don't need that. The gasket is going to do its job. You just want some on this side, so when you lay the gasket down it'll just stay in place and it'll seal up a little bit better but um also on a pulley the water pump pulley the pulley itself uh the pulley itself right here the pulley that you take off first those also have uh dial pins so you can line up the pulley itself when you put it on, the, the pulley only go on one way also. You just you line it up with the dial pin, sit it on, then put your little four, little eight millimeter bolts back on the, uh, the pulley itself. Now, also, um, that's the dirty coolant, old coolant. 
Now you guys can use one of these too. Uh, it'll spill free funnels if you have one. Um, I was going to use mine, but I really don't need it. These cars are pretty uh, efficient at uh, bleeding themselves out with their own bleeder, which is right here. That's the that's the bleeder right there. That's your coolant bleeder. All right. So if you follow your upper radiator hose down here, you'll see your bleeder and your thermostat is right down underneath the housing right here. All right. Um, so yeah, use that to bleed it. You can also uh, burp it from the radiator cap. These cars, these 3800s is really easy to, 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 to uh, bleed. So, you know, you won't have an issue there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna close this joint out. Uh, just make sure y'all, you know, do your own little diagnostics to see if your pump is bad or what pulley or if your car is making a noise like mine was. Um, but I hope y'all uh, understood everything in this video and things to expect, to expect when a water pump goes bad. Um, again, you can have noise or you can have a leak out of the weep hole couple ways to do that and um the tools i use is pretty you know eight millimeter 10 millimeter 13 15 the typical stuff on the gm especially older gms um i use my belt uh ratcheting tool uh gear wrench i don't even use this at work that's crazy i use a little bit of thread sealant on the the bolts that's going through the water the water jackets uh what else I use? I use my ratchet, my anchor saw ratchet, electric ratchet. That thing is the bomb. All right. You know, a couple magnets so when you drop shit, because you know you're going to drop something. All right. And I use a little, uh, little sight glass because I couldn't see the bolts on the power steering pump. They, that thing always get on my nerves and I change that, but... We'll take it up. But other than that, I mean, the job is pretty much straightforward. It's pretty simple. You know, don't think, overthink it. Um, so yeah, make sure you got heat. Make sure you turn the heat on. While you got the car running, turn the heat on full blast so that the cooler can go through the uh, radiator uh, heater core and you get all that air out the system. And um, make sure you got good heat. And uh, make sure you ain't got no leaks or nothing like that. And you good to go, y'all. So we're gonna close this joint out. Appreciate y'all watching. If you liked it, then like it, share it, and subscribe. And tell your friends about me too. All right. Catch you on the next one. Let's go.